Make it early diagnosis. Hit you with a quick release like Marino Danny Dopeness. Explosive change of direction in the true essence of Reggie Bush. From JT and ZT to DVP and ADG. Terminator to a quarterback, Hunter JP. Steve Ross, the boss, King Flo, and card slinging, gambling genius, slick Chris Greer. Hello, everyone. Welcome. We're just this is a random edition, quick breaking news edition that Joss Boyer has been fired, as you've probably heard already, by the Miami Dolphins. So he is out. We do not know who is going to be in. There are some other members of the staff I let Justin Stout talk about once I show him on screen here that has also been released by the Miami Dolphins. And we got Gino again back in the house. Hello, guys. Thank you. Hey, how's it going? No see. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, hey, here we are again, right? <laughs> yeah. So I I didn't write it down, and I have a horrible memory. You're a little younger, Justin. But do you remember some of the other names that's been released by the Dolphins, too? Because not only Boyer, but there were some other staff members. Let go. Um, Steven Gregory, which was the defensive backs coach. Um, damn it. I think there was two more. Uh, uh, JP, do you know the names that were released with Steven Gregory? Oh, oh he's, he's spinning. He's spinning up there. Hey, there you are. Jay, you are. Hey, hey, what's hey. up, man? Do you remember the names that were released with uh, Stephen Gregory as well? The uh, other coaches that were released? Oh, he's buffering back out. So, yeah, I would look that up. But anyway, of course, Josh Boyer's out. That's the big news. Do you think this is like, you know, it's already going crazy that Vic Fangio's a guy? Or do you think there's other candidates? Or do you think they more or less know they can get them and reel them in? Because it's kind of late to cut your coordinator after other teams had a week operating on you, getting their chance at you know interviewing these guys. Um, I think you go after Fangio right now, like right here, right now. You go after before, him. Be, That's your before target. Before Sean Payton gets hired yep. somewhere, before because Sean say Payton, he, before any of it, you just drop it and you go get Fangio right now, no matter what. Um, that's that's what I would do. I wouldn't mess around with it. I wouldn't wait. I would maybe do what you have to do to get like the other coaches hired that you have to do to go through the steps as well. But if that's your target and that's your guy, which that would be my guy, has been for two years, I would just go ahead and lock that one in right there and go ahead and hire Vic Fangio right now. Yeah. That would be my Is there guess. anyone else out there? on the? I know I'm the Vic Fangio, but I know you keep updated on all of these transactions through the NFL. I'm more of that Dolphin guy that keeps. So wasn't even looking at defensive coordinators on the market until I heard Josh Boyer is out. Well, here, heard here you go. I got the names now. It was Steve Gregory, um, outside linebackers coach, Ty McKenzie, and uh, Steve Ferentz were also relieved of their duties. Okay. So I knew it was two other guys. I just couldn't remember the names. Uh, yeah. But, okay. yeah, there's the, there's a couple other guys that were on the list. Um, I can't pronounce his name really correct. Uh, Kyle Krychek, some something like that, something with a K. Um, right. I've heard his name floated around that a little bit. Um, I know Schwartz was mentioned, but he just got hired, so he's yep. off the list. And then um, um, There's so been some I names said, I mentioned. They waited too long, or do they already know they can get this fan deal? But are there any outside, like, wow, like beyond your imagination, like Sam Madison getting an interview to be the hit I mean, um, or anything like that? Um, JP's uh, trying to join us, guys. We got a great guest, but he's having some connection issues. Yeah, he's just, having some connect he's just having connection issues. But, um, yeah, there could be a couple guys that could be maybe mentioned that would be younger, but they would be younger guys. So I don't think they would be as high on the list as maybe a Vic Fangio would be. Uh, right. But maybe you could consider if he's even on the market, a guy who is, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name either, the Broncos young defensive head um, coordinator. He's a great, he's calling up and dialing up a really good place for them. Um, I doubt the Kansas City Chiefs' coordinator would be on the Steve, I think is it Steve Spagnolo or whatever his name is. Right, I don't yeah, think he's not going to be out there. Yeah, no, he won't be on the market, I don't think. Um, so that's why I, you, so, that's why you're really a big fan of moving quick on Vic Fangio's. But yeah, saying. I would, I would jump on this real fast. I heard he actually already interviewed for the Falcons job. Um, I would actually call him in for an interview right now and I wouldn't let him leave. I would just go to take him to a nice dinner. Um, uh, Mike McDaniels and Chris Greer and go take him to the most expensive steak dinner you can find. Um, go sit him down, have Marino there too. Um, maybe our Marvin Allen and Reggie McKenzie could come along with you as well. 
Um, so you would want to sell pounce him before Sean Payton gets announced somewhere because you are. I would hire. Would... I would hire him and have the deal announced before Sean Payton makes his decision where he's because going. There's a lot of rumors that he's, you know, he wants to be linked with Sean Payton. So I was just. If that's wondering. the case, then they think I don't know, man, because that would. I don't know if that's going to work because the reason why I say that is I think Sean Payton's real close to signing the deal with the Denver Broncos. I think that's almost a done deal. You maybe could already count your chickens before they hatch on it. Um, I think that's where he's going to go is Denver. Um, I don't see Vic Fangio wanting to go back to Denver. He was a former yeah, head coach. He was a former head coach here. Um, I think he's going to want to, you know, brighten his pastures somewhere else. Um, right. I think the perfect spot for him to go would be the Miami Dolphins. I think if you were to bet on it in Vegas odds, we would be in the top two for Vic Fangio okay. right now, like right now. Welcome, guys. We got a lot of people in here um, trying to get in. We're going to get come in. We'll drop, we'll, we'll drop comment, the link. Comment, guys. Comment. We'll, if you want to get a link, um, we'll drop you a link and you can. Yeah, if you want the, the link, show. you can come on and tell us what you guys think. If you've heard any rumors um, other than what we've heard, contrary to proper belief, um, Fangio should be a 1A one, one A and 1AA a <laughs> on yeah. your list to hire uh, for the defensive coordinator position. Um, and does that also go because he also has head coach experience and you kind of wanted that last year on um, McDaniel's staff, someone that he could kind of lean on from an experience standpoint as well, or just because you like his defensive schemes? It's more along the lines I like his defensive scheme. Um, I think it, it, the him being a former head coach is just a bonus. So that gives right. us another guy that's in house that could help, you know, herding the kittens per se and help people get where they need to get. I was just in a spaces with my buddy Ryan Church and uh, Sean Williams, who you know, Sean. Um, right. And we were talking about it. Sean's been having some great plans, off season plans, all season long. Um, I'll tell you what, we we're talking about the same thing right now about Fangio coming in. Um, we think it's a great situation. Everybody thinks it should be Fangio. There's probably not no one out there. Yeah, there was rumors disagree. last year the Dolphins wanted yeah, Fangio, but they couldn't him, yep. work. Work. I remember. All the details I remember, out. and I remember then. I was like, "Oh, dude, dude, do that!" Oh, because yeah. I know what he can do with the linebackers. If you remember what he did for the Bears uh, linebacker core back when he was the linebackers coach there or the defensive coordinator, excuse me, and then he came to the Broncos and was the head coach. I remember them playing real well. Now, this is the connection. I was just in the spaces, like I said, with Sean and Ryan. Um, and someone brought up the fact that don't think for one second that Vic Fangio is not a big Bradley Chubb guy. That is Bradley Chubb was his pick. That's the guy he picked when he was here. You know, that's he, I'm sure he banged the table to get him. Well, yeah. I'm sure he would love to come back here and work with him and work with who Jalen Phillips. Just imagine what Vic Fangio could do with Jalen Phillips and Bradley Chubb and Zach Sealer and Christian Wilkins and Raekwon Davis. Oh, and you can even throw in Emmanuel Ogba in there because he'll be coming back. Um, it'd be nice. Um, this does mean, I don't know if this is going to burst anybody's bubble or not or turn someone the wrong way. I know he had a great season, but it also could mean maybe if you brought in Fangio that you might move on from players that were there like Jerome Baker, uh, Landon Roberts won't be coming back. Uh, Duke Riley probably wouldn't be coming back. Uh, I guarantee you, Sammy, the slug Eagle ball would not, wouldn't be coming back. Um, <clears throat> I would move Jerome Baker's contract as soon as possible. If I was able yeah, to say with him though, you got to kind of trade him because yeah, you, you got to trade big, him. You think a big to. hit if you cut him, unfortunately, yep, you would have to go ahead. Article. Yep. But this was it's all true. before, you know, the news for Fangio. So, it's true. But, um, so, hey, Lewis, thank you for joining us. I know you're a Kansas City fan. Good afternoon, man. man. But we, we still welcome you here. Oh, Kansas City thank getting you, ready Lewis. to play themselves Good a good see game. see you again. Getting ready to beat up on uh, – who the hell are they playing again? Oh, yeah, they're playing Jacksonville, right? Yeah, yeah they're playing right. Jacksonville. Yeah, they're going to kick their butts all over the place, man. Kansas City will win that game by at least two tutties. All that's, right. That's my take. <laughs> All right. So that would make Lewis happy. So we don't have to pick on any more now that our team's out of it. We can, you know, go for his team. <laughs> right. Much luck because he's always coming into our show. So you're oh, awesome, Lewis. Awesome. But anyway, back on the defensive coordinator. So outside of Fangio, is there any other names that I mean, float your boat that you would be like okay with? Because I know uh, that's everyone. If I, a couple of minutes before I hopped on here on Twitter, everyone's like, Fangio, Fangio, Fangio. And you know what? Is there anyone else that you would say like that's my favorite? Before before I would really have liked uh, Jim Schwartz would have been just fine with me. I'd have been yeah. all about that. 
Um, like I said, the guys that I already that I'm interested in are already taken. Like Kansas City, Steve Spagnola is already taken. Right. Um, I love D'Amico Ryan's defense. He's not going anywhere. That yeah. would be somebody that I would want. You know what I mean? Or the Broncos' young defensive coordinator. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He is a very good looking coach up and coming. Um, he hasn't done it for multiple years though. Someone like Vic Fangio, um, uh, the Chris Kurachek or whatever the kid's name is. Somebody I heard mention his name as well has been brought up into that would be great. Um, who's the coach that is coaching the Cowboys defense. Oh, Zimmer Zimmer. There you go. That's another name I've heard thrown around. Um, I wouldn't mind him at all. And we're talking about this same guy who coached for the Vikings, right? That Zimmer. I'm sure it is. Um, the kid who, or the guy who's coaching the Cowboys defense right now, I can't remember his name, but he was uh, the former head coach of the Falcons, and now he's the coordinator over there. Damn, what's his damn name? Oh, Dan um, Quinn or whatever. Dan Quinn, there it is. Dan Quinn. I would be interested in someone like him coming. Yeah, but he's going to get a head coach. I think. Yeah, he's I know. Get a head but you're asking me who I would like. That's that. So that would be it. Someone who runs a defense that's similar to something like that. But the Zimmer, okay. that's another name that's been brought up. So you don't think anyone on staff a, like a Sam Madison or anything like that? And you're going to get a look, you know, just because no, you know, not for me, different. They don't want to nah. give him that favor of like not not you know for an interview or anything like that. Just do you think they would bring in an outside guy 100? percent Yeah, I do. Okay, I that's where I stand in. too. But I just want to make sure because some people were asking about Sam Madison status if they bring in a new DC oh. or are they going to <sighs> is that going to be because they supposedly like Madison. He's done a good job of the defensive backs. But are they going to give the defensive coordinator a chance to like, oh, you can pick some of your defensive staff? But maybe those firings are the people that they would just replace. That's once. what I would think. I would think the firings would be the opening spots for, say, you brought in a Fangio. He could be like, well, I want this guy, this guy, and this guy. Well, you have three open spots. So yeah. then you could just put them right there. Um, the one guy that I – to me, if you brought in Fangio, what I could definitely see would be bringing in – um, who would lose his job? Maybe one more would be uh, Anthony Champel. He's the linebackers coach for the Dolphins right now. Yeah. So if you did bring in Fangio and Anthony Champel, and Fangio didn't see eye to eye, see eye to eye, then he would, I think, would be gone. Then yeah. I got an outside interest. And so say if Brian Flores gets hired by Arizona, that'd be funny now if he ends up picking up Josh Boyer because we always heard rumors they don't like each other. So that wouldn't that shock the world if he picks up oh, Josh man. Boyer to be his DC? <laughs> That'd be crazy, dude. I don't even I know, know what I would think about any of that. Yeah, <laughs> all of our rumors. Oh, they hated each other, and that's part of the reason they were gone. <laughs> now they're now they're working together. <laughs> yeah, I know. So that'd be funny. I don't know what made me think of that, but I I did. So, but yeah, I like like you. I like Vic Fangio because I did hear that name, and I'm an old fart, so names just stick to my brain, and I don't look outside the box for some new names, maybe. So that is the name that I heard last year that we all thought right. was going to be coming in. So he didn't come in this year. So it's very interesting that you're very big on them. And I know you're my NFL guy. You're you always you're a Dolphin fan like me, but you know all the <laughs> rosters, all these staffs. I'm like, I don't know how you do it. I, there's some you? there's more defensive guys out there, but I just don't think that they're available. Like the ones that are everyone's talking about are the only ones that I've heard of that are even available. Right. Like, you know, the Zimmer name has been brought in there, the Fangio, the Kurachek, or however you pronounce the guy's I name. I know. You're uh, like me. You, you screw up guys' names <laughs> I'll sometimes. I'll screw up dude. your I name, bad. I'll, bur <laughs> I'll butcher it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's all good. And anyway, guys, real quick, thank you. If you're new in here, comment. We'll drop you a link. We are an interactive show, but make sure, above all, that you want to hit that like and subscribe button for us. We could be always bringing you Dolphin stuff. Justin's going to have a whole bunch of great NFL draft stuff that we're working on behind the scenes. That you're not going to want to miss this network if you love the draft and everything. Hey, welcome back, Ender. Welcome back. He, he was there earlier today. Oh, well, damn. Oh, Ender, you know what, what do you think of the boy your move, Ender? And Are I you thumbs it. up, thumbs down? Mix. I need, I need, one Ender's, I need your contact. Know, I need your contact stuff too, Ender. When you get a chance, uh, maybe comment your contact info or uh, email me. Or Rob, for your contact info for some way, somehow I have misplaced your contact information, so I need it again. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, now he will hit you up, but make sure you do that, Ender. So anyway, guys, make sure you drop that comments in here so we know, if, are we missing anyone? Who would you like to see the Dolphins? We could be missing totally, you know, because yeah, we could. it's just breaking news. We haven't all, you know, that we're all finding out at the same time once we saw that. Bomb hit that Boyer's out.
Drop us some names that we might be missing. Oh, I got one right now. Um, Bowles, the head coach of the Buccaneers. So if they get rid of Todd Bowles, he's our former defensive coordinator as well. You probably know who I'm talking about. Waiting for the special teams co news. <laughs> I know, right? You're waiting for the special teams to get the heave ho next. Yeah, he'll be the next one to get shown the door. I haven't heard a word about it, honestly. No, me but, either. Uh, in the spaces I was in, my buddy Sean was like, oh, man, I don't even care who the special teams coordinator is. If you get a top-notch defensive coordinator like Vic Fangio, like everybody wants Fangio, man. Like, oh, I know. You, that's it. If but you want to win a fan, yeah, We all yeah. focus on that. That's why I kind of went to you and asked you if you could do a quick breaking news segment with me. Because yeah. I know I kind of focus like a lot of people do on fan. I get that one sexy name in my mind, and that's what I want. Then if he doesn't oh, come too. with us, then I'm like, oh, man. So I wanted to get some perspective from your angle. Hopefully, Gino can join us, but he was having connection issues, it seems. So, oh, Gino, yeah. if I you're think listening out driving. there, try to join in. Yeah, he And, was guys, driving. tell it's us hard. if you want to. <laughs> yeah, jump on in here, man. Yes, we did, oh, Hank. Yes, Hank. we did just talk about this this morning, and now here we are again. <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's very true. Um, I'm sure there's some defensive coordinators that are out there on the street right now that I'm just, you know, that are missing my mind. Um, there's lots of young coordinators that are out there too, but you got to think about it like this. Do you want a young coordinator who's up and coming or do you want someone who's been there yeah, you, and I, done I'm that? With you. I'm rolling you in know, your like, team, Ali, because it's like, you know, that, that fame is, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over same and over. Over and over. Yeah. So, yes, you know? I'd agree with you. I want a veteran guy. The guy that I mean, it, we yeah. all kind of remember when all this came down the pipeline and we lost the playoff game. They're like, well, we want to take some time to think, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> yeah. He just took advantage. Of, he yeah. just took advantage, guys. Make sure you hit that link and you join us too, man. I'll That's tell right. you, man. I'll <laughs> I tell you, I just asked this question this morning. What about Boyer? Yes, that you did. <laughs> and you did out the door, right as you out asked. Out the door, see right that? as you asked. Yeah. So I guess McDaniel then had a plan. I think so. I, I think guess so. He had somebody that he had waiting in the background. Hmm. How it chose. That's what I'm thinking. Well, I got a. We got a. Um, Tradition here, Jonathan. I know it's a day that someone got fired, and I shouldn't be playing happy Miami Dolphin song. But every time someone's a first comment, Jonathan, hey, you're a first comment, so you get a little Hank bit of a. Uh, Miami. We got a first time commenter, Jonathan. Thank you. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that button, man. <laughs> so, Jonathan, what do you think? Do you have any guys, or are you, are you riding with all of us thinking that Fangio makes the most sense? Let us know, Jonathan. So, what do you like, Hank? I'm going to change my banner up here because it doesn't look good with three people in here. Just give me a minute. But anyway, you can talk while I'm finding the button. I'm not as smooth as Bobby yet. You know, I'm learning the <laughs> ropes good. here. And it yeah. takes me a minute. Oh, there we go. There we go. This is the one I should go with, right? Uh, give me one second. So who do you think we should pull up here, Hank? Is there any outside outside uh, coordinators maybe that you no one's talked about? that, you, that Well, you I'm would, supposed uh, to be asking you? you this question. You're already supposed to be answering that question. Yeah, right. no, of That's course, true. but we thought maybe you would have someone, you know. Hey, I, I didn't. You know, Definitely I was waiting riddance. to see what happened. I didn't know it was going to be like, bam, right after we talked about no, it. No, I know. We talked it up this morning. So, that, that you know, we made it, talked it into existence. It's Just true. The obvious choices that are out there, guys. I mean, you know, the ones everybody loves. So, who yeah. do you yeah. like, Justin? Yeah, he said I the want, same. He likes yeah, the Nick Vic Fangio. Fangio. Yeah, I want Vic Fangio for sure. Yeah, like, that would be the guy exactly. I would go for I mean, right that, away. that's what I would have said. Yep. And so I know I just played this, but we got another first time. Miami Dolphins. Make sure you hit that <laughs> button for us, Mr. New. But yeah, I'm with you guys, man. I'm actually, you know, on the old. I, my name, I'm a one track mind. I'm, it's just, so I'm going to be that first guy that's probably disappointed when I read tomorrow. Vic Faneuil and Sean Payton are already blah, blah, blah somewhere else and then i'll be like son of a gun why did you fire josh boyer <laughs> so hopefully right. you, know, <laughs> you know that's it because we're all happy now and thinking the big name's coming so hopefully let's hope so are ready because we talked about that on a couple of shows that you know 
don't fire someone unless you know you know you already have something better in place because you know you're not going to get rid of your car unless you're you know you got a corvette ready to go in, in its plate <laughs> yes no, right hey, you're not. you didn't get rid of your car until you knew you had a better car in store so you know, hey i, I had you... i had no car for about a year or so oh, okay oh so that bet was just a easy choice then so. so you know and like i said you know that was money the wife got you know i'm just yeah. a lucky recipient <laughs> hey, I like it, man. Luck is better than smart sometimes. Yeah. Um, you know me, I'm just stupid and lucky. Yeah. Hey, let's just hope the Dolphins, if we are stupid, let's just hope we get some lucky on our side if it's not Vic Fangio. That so, they have to... so who do you want, Thirsty? You never really. Uh, yeah, I do. I want Vic Fangio. That's what I say. But I that's really the only name I know. And that's almost why I wanted to do the show, bring other people's thoughts and help me out this time. And that's why I got Justin asked him if he could go live to see if there's any other names. But he's kind of stuck like me. We all yeah, I'm stuck, bro. We you, all you like know, him. So but I think we're I, all going to be. I think there are a lot of people out there that um, I would say if he was going to pluck somebody, it would probably come again from the San Francisco 49ers staff somewhere. Right. Now, <laughs> what would be, what would be appropriate right. from the 49ers to try to get? Who would that be? moving up i don't know i don't know the 49ers that well yeah no. Demico D'Amico ryan's is their dc right now yeah like he's he, not going to come for yeah, a lateral move no. right i think no, he would be looking a for lateral. a head coaching spot somebody maybe under yeah, someone maybe him. under yeah. him if the fangio is not the thing i'm so just guys, saying, tell he's in looking there. in the tree over there which i serious who knows this i don't know is this gm driven or is this coach driven now, I said I thought it would be 100% coach-driven if he had somebody else, you know? Right. So now I'm wondering, well, is that, that the way it is or isn't it? Yeah, we're going to see if they move, if they pounce quickly or do they do courtesy interviews? Do they just to show that they're not focused on one guy or do they not care about that and just pounce on the guy that they think they need now? Because you don't want him out there on the market too long if you see people. You know, you start seeing him interview, and you're like, oh, man, he might be gone before we even make our move. So that's, that's yeah. why I'm curious. Is this going to be a one- or two-day thing, or is this going to be like we're not going to know at this time next week who our DC is? I I, I hope it's um, – I'd like to see more in the, the coaching staff where it goes from defensive coordinator to head coach or offensive coordinator – to head coach, I would like it to actually be somebody of color, to be honest with you. Yeah. So if I if I was going to look, that would be where I would look first is because I think it needs to be more diverse at that level so right. that there, there's fair rights and, and fair ability for coaching for, for young black men. So, right. Yeah. Or, you know, or anybody else that's considered minority. I, I think that, that they should look on that side first. Right. And explore that first. Unless, like like I said, he had somebody specifically in mind. And, they, you know. Yeah. You no. don't know, though. We don't know. Not yet. <laughs> no, that we don't know. That's why, I was, that's why I'd love to do this show and bring commenters in, figure everyone out. Has different I got tapes. I got a name I got a name for you, but he's still in the playoffs, and I think he's probably more due for a a specialty or a head coaching job than maybe coming and being a defensive coordinator. And that's the yeah. <laughs> it had never happened. But the defensive coordinator for the Bills, uh, Leslie Frazier. Oh, um, of course. I would, yeah. I would yeah, I would love to have that, but we yeah. don't have that happen. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> more no, yeah. no, hey, it's up. no. He comes. Uh, Thank you, Jay. And make sure you hit that like and subscribe button, everyone. Thank you. And but yeah, we're not gonna get a lateral move. No. But yeah, those are great names that you know. Yeah. But yeah, we're not gonna get someone that don't want to come lateral and unless you know the sometimes once in a blue moon it happened, like the Dolphins lost their defensive coordinator to the Giants a couple years ago. Yeah, that Patrick Graham. I don't know who we're talking about. Right. Yep. You know, so mm -hmm. that I mean it does happen. But normally you have to stick like an assistant head coach tied on the guy or something like that. And maybe they, but most of the time the lead kind of frowns upon lateral moves unless it's mutually, you know, agreed upon between the franchise. Like, 
yeah, we kind of want you out. So yeah, get your butt up there and go. <laughs> right. So, you know, I so. want I want somebody that might already have head coaching experience to be on the defense also. Oh, there you go. That's why I think most fans are calling for the same name we've been yeah, speaking. Vic Fangio. Before. Fangio. <laughs> exactly. He covers all. He mark. He covers all those boxes that he, he does. Wants. He really He's does. A, an experienced defensive coordinator. He has head coaching experience. He fits the scheme that a lot of Dolphin fans want to kind of get away from the blitz that you know Boyer became. You know, and Flores installed. Well, he runs. He runs a three-four scheme. That's what he right. runs. Yeah, you'll you, you'll need linebackers to match the style that he's going to play. I mean, you'll have Phillips and Phillips and uh, Chubb. You know, those two kind of match. And then you're going to need two matching inside linebackers. I mean, that's that's where you'll start. That's why you keep hearing me talk about and regurgitate those names. Where would Christian Wilkins play? Will he play on an end to you, or would he play with a nose? He's a, or he a... um, he would be a more of an inside three tecker right there on a yeah, four that's what three. I yeah, more inside. It's a long, and you'd and put him right next to you put him right next to Davis, and then you put Wilkins on the outside of him and Ogbo or Sealer on the other side of them, and then you put the outside linebackers out there. And okay. stand them up, and stand them up. You know, give them the, okay, the that's ability. What I was say, because if you're playing a three-four, you start running out of some of our studs that we like. You know, because yeah. if you... it gives us a, a lot of position flexibility. Like the you've heard Sean, my buddy Sean, talk about this numerous times. Uh, the four-three defense is the most popular defense in the NFL. It's right. the most it's most successful defense as well in the NFL because it's the easiest to run. Um, but the three-four gives you that much more flexibility, and you can do so many more, much more things with the three-four defense than you can with the four-three. Right. And this is ba- this is just base defense as we're talking. Just a simple base defense, a simple look I'm giving you, which you see they're going to be the three-four, the four-three players- look. So, so say we bring in the new system like a Fangio. So what players are going to be hurt? I know you say you said I, I don't know if we were backstage or right before we started. You were thinking Jerome Baker may be not the best fit for a Van, Fangio. I don't think he is. No, he's not. He doesn't no. fit the three four scheme anyway. Um, he's not able to play in traffic good enough with his hands. Um, if you wanted to turn and make him an outside linebacker and specifically rush the passer on ninety percent of the snaps, now you're talking. Um, okay. But it's something that the the player is going to be having to willing to do on his own, not just the coaching staff. I would bring in new inside linebackers that thump. Um, you need two thumpers that mix inside, and then but you Elan need two outside. Elaine and Roberts should be an okay fit, still, right? Yeah. I mean, the, he, the problem he, with that is he is. Oh, go ahead, Hank. Keep, you're yeah, going go to keep Hank. somebody. Not to interrupt, but you're going to have to keep somebody. Yes. No, if I had to keep somebody, it would be Baker. <laughs> well, that's the guy that that's the guy. He's already you're gonna have to anyway, unless you find a trade partner for him because he's already yeah. on the books. So yeah, yeah. yeah you're I'm keeping saying, him. But I the Roberts, the Roberts one though, and then he's more of a four three linebacker, more of a four okay. three so guy he, than a okay. than a three four. But he is a thumper though. But he's know, a thumper. And what do yeah. you think Baker is? I think Baker's more of a chase defender, a uh, help defender, somebody who can tackle but helps tackle. Um I think he's a Run and chase guy. Do you see what I'm saying? Like he'll chase guys around, chase them down, right. help on tackles, try to give you some coverage underneath. Um, a chase defender is what I would call him, and a good blitzer. So yeah. that's that's his game. But I don't Van think it's Ginko. worth. I don't think it's what, worth the money. How about Van Ginko? Do you think he's some guy that we're gonna just end up moving on? I mean, he's shown mm, some promise. Ah, uh, it's a really hard tell right there. Now, if you brought in Fangio. I think you have a more chance to bring in bring him someone like that back, and the reason okay. why is because he he fits the mold of a three four defense, and he would be the guy you would put behind uh, Phillips, you know what I mean, and have him out there to like play the the flat hook and curl if you need him to drop back, which I don't want Phillips doing that. I want him going after the pass rusher, but you could bring you know maybe another extra rusher on would be a Van Ginkle if you resigned him and he could do the hook flat curl roll. And uh, maybe even give you the threat of a blitz with Phillips off the edge. Um, he does fit the Fangio style, though. He's more of a three-four linebacker. Yeah. All right, guys. In case you're just joining us, you know by the top, you know that Josh Boyer's out. We would love any th- names that we you know. We're kind of focused. It seems like on Vic Fangio, <laughs> all three Absolutely. of us because that's the name. So maybe you guys can drop us tidbits. I mean, if you've heard something we haven't heard, whatever. Please. Yeah, love to hear it. And make, like I say, hit that like and subscribe button. But yeah, See, 
Oh, no, go, ahead, go on. I didn't want to cut you on because I know but another name I want to ask you about, Duke Riley with a new defensive coordinator. How yeah, I was going to ask about him too. All right, go ahead, Hank. What do you think about Duke Riley? I was going to ask about Duke Riley. Okay. What do you got right. on him? Um, go to I, our brick man here. I think he's more of a coverage linebacker than a thumper linebacker. He's more of an off the ball kind of a guy. He's not a between the tackles guy. He can run with um, running backs out of the backfield and tight ends underneath. So he's probably the best coverage linebacker we had on the team last year. And that's not saying much because we didn't really have one of those. If you had a complete linebacker, you wouldn't need any of those guys no more. Like Luke Keekley. Luke Keekley was a complete linebacker. He could play the pass and he could play the run. That's what right. you need is you need somebody who can play the pass and play the run and offers you the thumper downhill that you need. A dog. You need a straight dog back there. Someone who like Zach Thomas didn't take no crap, went out there and just tackled guys and, and right. handled his job. We, we need someone like that. We got to have someone. Who, where's Jack Del Rio? Where's he at right now? Yeah, that's a damn good. There you go. There's a great name right there, dude. There's a great name that, as a defensive coordinator, former defensive coordinator, former head coach. Yeah. I don't what? know. I would be into that. If any of you guys out there know, defense. that's why we're interactive. We admit sometimes we don't know where everyone is because we oh, all got pff, I don't. <laughs> busy. So if you guys Let's know, look. let us know. He's I'm going to look. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking right now. <laughs> hey, that's the great thing about technology. He can look them up while we're going here. Let's see. But yeah, there's you know, it's just always interesting because you know you bring in new coaches, but then sometimes it's, it means it's he's like the a, defensive coordinator for the Washington Commanders. Oh, okay. So yeah. Yep. And see every good not, name that you want. Like I've thought of, I thought of a couple. I'm like, damn, he's taking like Leslie Frazier. I was like, oh, that'd be great. Mm. Yeah. You know, and then Jim Schwartz was the other one, and then the guy from the Cowboys was the other one that I was thinking of. So yeah. I don't know, man. There's so many good names out there. I think the only guy for the Dolphins, Did literally you know get, get your target out there and set it in, Dolphins, because it's Vic Fangio. <laughs> yeah. here's, some, here's something else that you might know. The Dolphins also announced that outside linebackers coach yep. McKenzie, safeties coach Gregory, Steven Gregory. Yeah. and assistant linebackers coach Steve were relieved of their duties. Yep, they that's three guys right there that opened up on the and you notice they're all I think on the so defensive that'll side definitely of the football. Change the dynamics of that linebacker. No, that's why I'm thinking. That's it why I'm thinking they have to have someone in mind that they've already talked oh. to that has people at those that's a, coaching. Yeah. I think he, I think he's got the guy in his back pocket already and is going to go through all of the hoops and the uh, Rooney Rule, obviously, because he has to because that's the way the NFL is written. You have to. You have to do interviews with all these guys, so they're going to do the interviews first, go through that process. But don't get think, don't get it twisted that Vic Fangio won't be on that interview list. And when you do get him in for the interview, don't let him leave without signing the contract. Like, don't let him go. You can't let him out of that room without closing the deal. You need someone like me there and be like, "Come on, best deal for you here. We're throwing a new Lamborghini." Like, you need somebody there <laughs> sweetening the deal that's for why you. I think that they probably have someone, and that's why the extra coaches went too because that I think so. Coordinator says you fire him because I don't want to be day one being the bad guy coming in and firing guy. You fire whoever these positions to get. I got guys in mind for these specific position coaches and. You know, that could be, or McDaniel could have just thought they didn't do their job in cutting them. We would never know. Or, you know, like I said, the guy that they have in mind says, Oh, I want this guy as my linebacker coach. I want this guy as my, you know, safety well, coach, and whatever. The reason why I don't think it would work to bring in somebody who's younger or like, Hey, he's a young up and coming coach, like the, like the kid for the Broncos, the, I think his name is like Yvor or whatever his name is. Um, you couldn't bring someone like that in right now because we'll be going in the opposite direction if you kind of take right. what I'm getting at. Like, we don't right. need a young guy right now who's an up-and-comer. We already have that. He's our head coach. We need a, a solid veteran defensive play caller, a guy who's been in the trenches before, a guy who's Mindful lost, of the clock. Mindful of the yeah. clock, knows how it feels <laughs> to lose, and has has all these things in his in his – toolbox that he can bring to the Miami Dolphins along with that he's probably going to bring a couple guys with him and that's why the defensive coordinators were released that you've seen scattered on the defensive side of the ball the yeah. Stephen Gregory the I, Tyrone I McKenzie it, you know I, I hope it's a veteran but I mean I want Fangio I, I, dude it's Fangio I, I, or bust baby popping out my head. <laughs> I don't have a bunch of names popping out of my head or me neither like if you had fans you, hey you had a great one jack del rio would have been an awesome guy if he was available yeah. um 
I mean, the only other guy that's available that I heard brought up besides Fangio would be Zimmer. And I'm pretty sure we're talking about Mike Zimmer, um, the former Minnesota Mike? Vikings head coach. Yeah. Yep. I'm sure that's who it is. Um, and maybe they bring right see now? this. Where's Zimmer? Let right me look, let me look it up. I think he's a free agent. I think he's available. But he maybe they do something. Al- yeah, maybe he took a year off or something. But maybe they took a long take that step along those lines by let's go get us uh, a Rooney Rule guy to interview. Obviously, I hate saying it like that because that's just how the NFL is. And they'll get those out of the I way. I thought that and was just for coaches. <laughs> no, I think they got to do it for. No, that's what we were wondering. I, they, I, know I don't they know. Did. I'm going to look it up. I know they were discussing that because they were saying, I don't know if they ever implemented Oh, it was in discussion. Rule. I didn't know that they had had. I know. I didn't know they, they had in, implemented either. I'm going to look it up. I have guys, no clue. Guys, if you know, again, this is where we're on live TV. You help us. Yeah, I was like, if you guys know and we don't, please tell us. <laughs> yeah, so help us out. But I know they had been a lot of talk about implementing the Rooney Rule for. Um, he, for he's available. Day. What's that? So I think Zimmer. he's a, he's available. He's going to be he's going to be in, interviewed. Mike Zimmer. Zimmer. Yeah, he's going to be interviewed, you guys. He's got a good good record too, okay. 72 and 56. Yeah. If, oh, if yeah, he's willing can. to be a defense coordinator, he's just going to kick back enjoying his money from the Vikings, you know. So some of you guys <laughs> don't want to become coordinators after having the head coach and then others don't mind. So, you yeah. know. He's 66. Team. He's 66 years old. So the last the time I remember term- he That's had a little fine. bit of health problems too, from what I was remembering. Um, okay. But he's probably a candidate actually to come in to interview for the job. So there you go. There's a name right there, Mike Zimmer. Whoever else you want to bring in to satisfy Rooney Rule and Vic Fangio. Those like, you see what I'm saying? Like the slim. It's kind of going to be some slim pickings right now. And the Chris Kurechek guy or whatever the dude that dude's name is. I'm not real familiar with him. I don't. I don't remember any system that he well, called either. You no, know, some people were talking about possibly bringing in an offensive coordinator also to assist Frank Mike Smith to, to assist possibly somebody to assist. And if you were going to bring somebody in like that, Greg Roman just parted ways with Baltimore. Well, according to Wikipedia, which is the first thing that popped up on <laughs> Google, it says in you know. The Rooney Rule to be acquired. Teams now have to interview at least one minority candidate for all coordinator. Positions. I knew it, dude. See, I was right. Yeah. You have yeah. to for do all what coordinators I said. for all coordinators. Yeah, for all coordinators. So positions. that Good. does mean you have to hire. You have to interview at least Good. one minority coach. Good for this position. Right. Yeah. Period. So that's what I was saying. Do you so, think Sam Madison or they wouldn't want to do that because then they say no, no Sam no, Madison? And no, he- I, honestly, that's a great question, Rob, and actually a great insight because what if they if it's allowed? I don't know if it's not in the rules that you can use a, a participant or a coach off of your own staff to make that the Rooney rule and have that right. as a, a legit interview, then I'm with it. Sam, come on, we'll interview for the job. Don't and mean you're going to get him. Well, I, I, give... I don't know if they would consider that a legitimate. As That's what far I'm saying. If they I don't were know if that'll looking work. at yeah. other people. Now, if they were picking him solely, there'd be no, there would be no problem. Right. But if you, you're saying up, oh, we interviewed him, he's within, and now we're going to go after these five guys. I'd be like, no, 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 no. Right. No. Right. No, I agree, See, so. so it's weird how it's written. Like, I don't know how you want to do it. I, I hope they don't, I don't try know if to an the internal play candidate games out or not. Uh, he's just already me. internal in the team. So you're right. Well, they'll, have to, they'll have to interview somebody now of of either Latin or black or somebody who's black. They'll have to. I mean, yeah. there's, there's no somebody other way around Asian. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that too. But they got a high. They got the, the somebody of color. They're gonna have to interview yeah. for that defensive court. I don't care who it is. Here's yeah. why. I wouldn't care if they hire him. Do as it. long as right. I know exactly. As long as they don't screw it up and go hire someone and we lose more draft picks to be so dolphins. So you know, make sure you make sure you cover yeah. your angle. Don't give up draft picks for anybody. This no, time. not no, no. Don't do that at all. Somebody. But just yeah. make sure it's the right move for the Miami anybody Dolphins, the though. Ranks? Like. Yeah, um, somebody that might come up from the college ranks. You know college ball. Oh, let me think off the top of my brain right now. Nick Saban, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah. Well, it would be a defensive um, coordinator on a college that might. Yeah, I have no clue who would be. Maybe a head right coach there. will want to be a defensive coordinator in the in the pros. You never know. 
Yeah, I know. But most of those guys that are head coaches, they like being head coach. I mean, if they're on the college <laughs> level. They, I'll they, give you. They, I'll give you a name. But he just signed. He just signed to the Buffaloes. He just signed to the CU Buffaloes. Deion Sanders. No, just kidding. Oh yeah. <laughs> No, bro. I think it's only hey, one hey, thing. There you go. Dude, that's a great up. one. Yeah. Good one. Good, 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 good. JM Santos. That is a great insight. Lovey Smith checks every damn ball. In fact, I wouldn't even mind hiring Lovey Smith to be the defensive coordinator. Bring it. I'm with it. Yeah, I like yeah. that one. Yep. That's yeah. a great one right there, dude. I I honestly that slipped my mind. See what I'm saying? Like, you can't remember everything, bro. Lovey Smith would be a great pickup, dude. Lovey Smith should be considered for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Yep. Good one. No, you got Justin writing down, JM. You're, you're oh, good, I wrote that. I'm writing that one down right now. I'm like, Lovey Smith. I'm going to use this later. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, JM. That's why we love you guys, man. You come Absolutely. in here. You, you guys rock, and, bro. You know, <laughs> especially when you're live, name Everybody skips our mind. A lot of knowledge. Yeah. Oh, that, dude. That yeah. Awesome. Wealth of knowledge out there, you guys. Hey, Everybody's so smart. Dolphin you guys fans, know a lot. I'll tell you what. Dolphin fans are smart. Fans. I put out all kinds of questions, you know, because that's just what I like to do. That's right. Yeah. That question that pops up, and I'm like, hey, I wonder what, if anybody else is wondering this or, or, you know, whatever. So, and every time, Dolphins fans, more times than not, are right on the no, they are, money. Man. We're a great <laughs> fan base. We can argue amongst ourselves sometimes, but overall, we're a, I, we're a great fan base. That's why I started Dolphins Thirsty and my website, which I'm a little behind because I was traveling until today. But we're back live doing our show, so it's great. <laughs> I'm going to get a Josh Boyer up article up at some point here today. Uh, all right. I Hey, on our budget, it better be a zero dollar bill. <laughs> He's like, I'll send you my bill. <laughs> I might give you a, you know, a coupon for five guys or something. That's about my budget. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'll take so, that. You know, so, hey, but uh, we love you guys, man. You're awesome. So, but yeah, so I guess we're not giving you any great insight because we don't have any more than you on this matter or other topics right. we can. Like when it comes to the draft, my man up there, Justin, oh, he's yeah. going to give you great insight. Him and Hank Fist and Kink can also bring you some insight because he loves <laughs> and he surprised me with his knowledge of the draft this morning. So, you know, you guys, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all you guys, but on this, it says like it just all broke for us, like it broke for you. It's crazy though, but have you seen the list of names that is actual free agents for the Dolphins? It like, was it's... good. He, you were still, you were listening to the real. Real talk, Finn's talk. It was good. Right? How's the we pizza? We went to Blaze Pizza <laughs> in yeah. um, Gainesville. Yum. We have a Blaze Pizza down here, but it's not real close. I don't know if you guys know the area, but it's in Davie. I'm in Pembroke mm. Pines. So we got a million pizza places closer, so it never makes me drive. But in Gainesville, it's right next to the hotel we stay in when I go visit my son and do my medical stuff. So, yeah, it's packed, though, man. I, I forget how packed that Blaze Pizza. But it's a college town, so what do you expect? But, yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know if you guys ever had – Blaze pizza, but it's basically uh, kind of like I'm, a, I'm a New York pizza kind of guy. Oh no, then you won't like it. Yeah, no, you <laughs> won't Long like Island it. guy. This is kind of like Island. saying this is kind of like the Chipotle of pizza. You go in an order, you, you get in line, <laughs> they say, you know, you get the pizza, and then they put the toppings on as you go down the line, and then they right. throw it in the oven and then they call your name or you know, they bring it. Oh, to yeah, we got a place like like that out here in Colorado. It's called CC's CC's Pizza. Yeah, C I C I. Yep, CC's. Yeah. Yep, that yeah. just sounds just like that. It's y yuck. AJ oh, you by the way, yep, Minshew's free agent would be expensive. Thoughts? Honestly, I actually would would be into some Gardner Minshew here. We were talking about it earlier this morning. Yeah, on we Dolphins were in that earlier show. He was yep. one of the names that you brought up. I would love me some Minshew and a couple of days. Whatever, uh, just uh, Tyler Heine Heine Tyler Heineke. Uh, yeah, I Heineke, wouldn't mind. Yeah. Yep. Either one of those two. I'm all for it. Um, there's other names out there too that I like, like uh, Brett Rippin for the Broncos. He's a free agent too. Um, Easton Stick. I love Easton Stick. He's a former uh, Los Angeles Charger, the third string quarterback for the Chargers. I would be into any of those names I just put brought up right there. They're veterans too. Is the thing. Oh, remember, remember. Don't forget about my boy, my boy, Mike White. I would be into Mike White coming here and being <laughs> yeah. a backup quarterback. Like, sign me up, dude. I'm all for some Mike White being a backup, uh, trying to push Tua to be better than he is. Um, just push hey, him all together, you know? 
I'm all good at quarterback. I'm happy. We need a backup, though. I know. I'm you're happy with Tua and Skyler, but you're going to have to bring in the third. But if you bring in third at those big cons, then he, they're going to become two. So that's I know that's where you fall in this. Like, you have to decide in the offseason if Skyler's your backup or not. I, I think, think Skyler. I, I think Skyler can go ahead and just go to the practice squad. You're just going to need to go ahead and bring in a veteran backup, and it ain't going to be Teddy Bridgewater. Go ahead and bring in someone like that Mike White, like a Brett Rippin, like an Easton Stick, or here you go, like a Sam Ellinger, somebody who can actually All help. Those in a fair, in a fair so training camp. Minshew. Minshew, too. Minshew, Minshew, too. Minshew, too. I'll take any of those. Yeah, any of those. So in all those names you just mentioned, in a fair training camp, they all beat Skyler for the number two spot? Yes. In a fair tra- okay. Yes. In fact, I bet you more than half of them. Oh, he, he went yeah. out on me. Mike oh, yeah, White. I I know Mike Whitewood. I know for a fact. Oh yeah, you know for sure. I like to say that Mike <laughs> White. Yeah, he's not ready. I agree with JM. JM. Yeah, I be, think he would beat him out. Honestly, I think he's the start of the season though. No, you've been a Skyler fan be. all he year. Might be. You've been a Skyler yeah. fan all year. And yes. like I say, he did serviceable this last week. You know, like I say, and he definitely did serviceable against the Jets. But you know, he can grow. Twenty four yeah, points. That's why I was just wondering yeah, if he's ready. Twenty four points isn't bad. Yeah, JP, you're right, man. You don't hear that too often, JP. So whoa, JP. <laughs> that's you, Justin. That's just make sure you know. So just make sure you know. We don't yeah. tell Justin too often he's right. You know, we don't want to make his ego get big. Oh so, uh, yeah. yeah, that's dangerous, bro. Oh, it looks that. like you need a new hat, bro. You need a new hat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But anyway, guys, thank you for joining me. I got to make a run here soon. I just wanted to get on live. Yeah. We don't do these normally last minute shows because we're a growing network, but I have got to get my son it's breaking somewhere, news, you know, bro. Do some family <laughs> stuff once in a while. You know, once in a while, family has to come before dolphins. Can you imagine That's right. that? Yeah, That's right. imagine yeah. that. Imagine that. Imagine stuff, that. <laughs> guys, uh, if you're new good. in here, thank you so much. This has been fun. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Smash button. it. Thanks for having it for us and make yep. sure Saturday at noon on the Finn Sports Talk Network. Make sure you join um Hank. He's he's has a great show he puts on over there on every Saturday and every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. He puts on a great show on the Finn Sports Talk Network. It's always hard for me. It's a lot of words you get out of there. So <laughs> Finn Sports. And I, I'm on it on Tuesday night right before his show, but I still <laughs> always have trouble saying the words if I, unless I'm reading it. So the Finn's Talk Sports Network, Tuesday nights, 8 p.m. and 12 p.m. Saturdays. You can find Hank on there talking all things golf. Fish tank, Hank. Yo, yeah. thanks hey, for having me. up all you guys. Anytime, you. buddy. And please, please hit that like and subscribe. We're new. And like I said, we just love getting you guys in here. So thank you, guys. Finn's up. Fins up. Fins up. First kick, I snap into action. When I'm digging in the trenches, get dominated off.